Here's a nice way to make something very much like balsamic vinegar from your own garden. It's spring and I'm starting. Today I'll start with this pile of woody trimmings from my rosemary plant. And as the season progresses, woody parts of other herbs such as thyme and Greek oregano. The various woody bits may go in all at one time if you have them ready at one time. But if you don't, you can actually take that opportunity to make an even more intense product by using them serially. So for about a month until the other things are ready, I'll soak these bits of rosemary stem. You can see that parts of it got winter kill and they wouldn't be very good for seasoning in other ways, but they're ideal for making balsamic vinegar. When their time is up and the other herbs become ready and I start harvesting them to dry the leaves, but strain the vinegar and then add the new woody parts of the next herb to the vinegar and so on. And it can be a quickish process that takes a month, which is the least time I've ever given it. It can take all summer and it being vinegar, you're not under time pressure. Nothing bad happens to it. But you need a good pair of garden snips to cut up the woody parts of rosemary anyway. Some of the other plants I mentioned aren't quite as tough. These are fiskars, although they don't look quite like the present day version, but it takes a good sturdy pair like these. We want as much wood in contact with the vinegar as we can get. I'm actually getting a product that tastes a lot richer than store-bought balsamic vinegar. And what I understand about balsamic vinegar is that it's normally created by aging wine vinegar in wooden kegs. So that's why years ago I thought, well, what if we kind of did it inside out and put our wood inside the vinegar and it turned out to make a really nice product. And it's a way to make use of parts of your herbs that would generally be wasted. When the jar is full of the woody herbal trimmings, pour in wine vinegar. Doesn't take anything fancy. I'm using a store brand. If for some reason you either don't have or prefer not to use wine vinegar, cider vinegar is also an option. Of course it won't taste identical, but it'll still be good and savory. Your vessel can be an ordinary canning jar or even a recycled jar that other food came in. But always use a plastic lid because vinegar eats up metal lids. If you find you must reuse a metal lid, put a sandwich bag under it or a little piece of saran wrap and that helps. The jar lid will still screw on with a layer of plastic underneath it. Any green leaves that came in with the twigs can be set aside and dried for actually cooking with or if you have enough cooking rosemary we can put them into a pin cushion, which I will show you in another video. Be sure to label the jar. When it's finished, strain out all the herbs and use it as you would any balsamic vinegar. My main use is salad dressing, but some people like it on cooked vegetables and all sorts of other ways. I leave it in the kitchen window while the vinegar is processing. That way I can keep a close eye on it with very little effort.